Okay, so this is the Micron Advanced setup. Um, it's got a more advanced video processor with a couple extra uh, options on the back, and it comes with a, with a tablet as well. So I'll just kind of go through how to set it up. Um, basically, your video probe is right here. This is our demo 1.7 millimeter unit. Uh, you can see it's got a little bit of a tip on it, and then a bifurcated cable. So on here, you've got your light cable that'll transfer the LED light out of the tip and you've got your CMOS video connection cable. Top part, you just lift up to release. You can actually see that there's a little tab there, and that same thing, there's a little tab that you would use when you're inserting it into um, this setup. There's also a red dot to guide you. So that'll just go straight in. Same with your light, straight in. Just push on the power button, and you can see the light will come on, the video processor will brew it up. On the back of the unit, you've got a USB out, an HDMI out and a power adapter. So right now we've got the USB plugged into a converter for the tablet and we've got the power going to a power source. For the tablet, we'll just boot this up, plug in the adapter, and then we'll turn on the tablet, which is basically just, uh, if it asks you for passcode, our passcode is just one, two, three, four. So you'll see that there's one viewing option on the tablet. Click that to open it. It'll open up and you'll see live image from the unit. You can see that you can capture images, you can capture video, you can review files, um, go in and see what you've captured before. And I'll just show you quickly. So this is what your live image is gonna be like on your screen. And then again, there are a couple different options with this video processor unit for how to get this image off of things. So. Right now it's going on the tablet where you can save. There's a USB so you can go directly to a computer or laptop, save images and video. And then there's an HDMI output to go to a high definition TV. Or if you have an HDMI capture box or something that'll input the signal and allow you to capture, you can use that signal as well.